Okay, good morning everyone. Welcome to our Deco Network webinar. Uh, thanks for joining us. This is a post-ISS Long Beach webinar to really go through the same demonstration that we did at the uh, ISS trade show for those who are unfortunate not to uh, come join us on the day. Uh, my name is Brendan Fraz and I'm joined here with uh, CCL, our sales rep here in North America and she'll be here to answer your questions in the question panel. So to the right of your screen you will see a, a small question section. If you expand that out you can ask questions as we go along. Uh, some of them CC will get to during the demonstration and then some of them will finish off at the end and go through an answer and maybe show a few of the, uh, the questions that you want to have a look at. Okay, so let's get started. So we're here to um, really talk to you about how we can help you grow your business with Deco Network and in particular some of the new features we have in Deco Network version 5. So we'll be doing three things during this morning's webinar. We'll be looking at our website and online designer solution and some of the new goodies that we also have in version 5.1. Then we'll take a quick look at Business Hub, uh, which is really a, a, a hidden gem of Deco Network and a powerful way to really take care of what we call your offline business. So the type of work that a customer will uh, send in an email for a quote or call in and ask for a quote over the phone, you handle all that in your Business Hub which of course is very different to the, uh, to the sort of work you get in your website and online designer. So let's jump straight into it. So I'm actually using our demo website which is demo.deconetwork.com and you're more than welcome to visit that at any point in time and use this website as well. It's a complete public website so you can select a product, design it, have a bit of fun and get a real good experience of what it's like to use a Deco Network website. And of course, if you want, you can even create your own sub-store underneath our demo store and play with, which I'll talk about in just a little bit uh, in a moment. So first of all, we'll go through the front end of the site and really how a uh, customer interacts with a Deco Network website. And along the way, touch on some of the new version 5.1 features that we have in Deco Network. So of course, everything you see here is Deco Network. Uh, we're not just an online designer that you plug into an existing website. Uh, you don't have to go out and acquire a shopping cart solution or, or get additional platform or get additional hosting or setup. It's all included as a part of the Deco Network platform. You have full, full control over the look and feel of your website. You can brand it to look like your existing brand or you can use one of our standard templates that we have included in Deco Network. So we'll start off with the create your own section of our website. And the Create Your Own section is where you have your blank products that you acquire from your catalog. And one of the great improvements of Deco Network version 5 is we now have over 3,000 products from 87 different brands. So we've really increased the amount of products in version 5.1. And on this page, your customer will see your blank products that you choose to add to your Deco Network website. Of course, our demo site is highly apparel focused, but it really could be anything from you know, printed chocolates to surfboards, skateboards, pens, mugs. If you can decorate it, print it, or sublimate it, then you can have it on your, your Deco Network website. So your customer selects one of the um, products that they think they like, based either by the price or the description, and that takes them to the product info page. Now all the information related to the product is taken directly from the catalog supplier. So we have the full description as described by the supplier, we have the size chart as provided by the supplier, so your customer can assure that the sizes fit them. And we've gone ahead and made a front and back view of each color in that product. So we actually have more information associated to a product than what you get standard from a catalog supplier. We've had to go through and build all these front and back views for each of these products. Now your customer will select a product that perhaps they like and the color that they like. On this page they can request a quote about that product or hopefully they'll launch directly into your online designer and decorate that product. Now one great advantage of Deco Network is we're non-flash based. So online designer works on any device from an iPod to an iPhone, uh, Android 4.4 no longer supports flash, uh, Windows Metro as well is stopping flash. So your online designer will work on any device at all which is really really important because you certainly know the amount of smartphones and tablets that are out there at the moment. And when the online designer loads, your customer can add a design, they can add some text, or they can add a team name, which is a combination of a, of a name and number. So we'll start off with add design, and you can choose what different decoration processes support different areas of your product. So printing or embroidery or sublimation or screen printing, and I'll choose plain old printing. 
and then it loads up with all the images that you have on your website. You have your own stock design, your store designs, or if the customer's already logged in, which I am, they can see their previous designs that they've used before in the past. So we keep a record of that, which is convenient for them when they log in. Some new features we have in version 5.1. We've now got Instagram and Facebook embedded as a part of our online designer. So if I choose Facebook, it'll log into my Facebook account and pull down my Facebook images. And that's great for your consumers because now they can browse their own personal designs in Facebook and use them to build their own personal and decorated products. So I'll choose the baby photo, select that. And as normal, it says, do you have permission to use that photo? So I click OK. And then it brings it into the online designer. Now, just as with any other product, you can move around, drag it around, rotate it and transform it in the other way as if it's any other stock design in your website. Now, a photograph looks good on a t-shirt, but it can look kind of sharp as if you've kind of printed it on a bit of paper and just stuck it on the front of the t-shirt. Well, we can select that, um, that photo. We can apply some effects or some borders. And I'll go down and choose the distressed effect. And the distressed effect just kind of takes off the sharpness of the edge of the photo and takes a pretty standard photo and kind of makes it look a little bit artistic and jazzes that up a little bit for that garment. Now I can add some text. Click on Add Text, Add Printing Text. And we'll go, oh, cute. And add that text. And this actually comes in as Corel Draw Vector test Text because our online designer is powered by Corel Draw. And the great benefit of that is when you download that design on the back end for production, you won't just get a PNG file, but you can also download the Corel Draw text as well. So if there's a spelling error or they want to change the font, you've got access to that to do later up down the track, and you're not stuck with a bitmap that you really can't modify. So at that point in time, your customer can add that to cart and go through a normal checkout process. But not all your customers are creative. Not all of them want to sit there and use an online designer. They maybe have an indoor soccer team and they just want to quickly make a bunch of shirts for their team to use for their indoor soccer team. And they may not even have a logo necessarily or a mascot. We've got a great new feature in version 5.1, which is the inclusion of a stack of digital art solution templates, which are rich Corel Draw templates that you can modify live in a web environment. Now being Corel Draw, you can even upload your own unique templates that you create, or you might buy another template collection from another supplier. But we have some digital art solutions templates available in Deco Network, which you can add to your website for a small monthly subscription fee. So we'll start off with uh, one of our categories, the sideline category. When I click on that category, you'll see all the rich digital art solutions, Corel Draw templates that are available in that category. And I can select one like this playoffs template. And then we automatically preview that template on your products in Deco Network. So you don't need to go and individually make each one of these products. We preview that automatically for you. Your customer choose the product that they may be interested in buying. They select that. And without having Corel Draw running on their computer, we extract all the text out of that design, out of that rich Corel Draw file, and make it editable for your customers. So instead of playoffs, I can change that to, let's say, Deco Network, because I like to do a Deco Network football t-shirt and I press tab all apply and we send that data off to our Corel Draw running on our server and we send back the results. So live within your website a rich Corel Draw file can be modified again without the consumer even having Corel Draw on their computer. On the back end you will get a rich Corel Draw file that you can download and being Corel Draw it's full vector base so you can use it for digital print, you can color separate it for screen printing, you can even make use of it in a decal or, or vinyl cut because it is rich vector graphics. Now I may want to change the, uh, the logo or the uh, symbol in the center of this graphic so I can replace that. And of course I can replace it with my own little mascot which is my daughter. So I can select on her and add her to my design and it replaces that straight away. Now you probably notice a great thing about this is the consumers can't accidentally drag and move any of those elements away because the layout's been designed by a professional designer so they can't do what I like to call destroy the template. It's nice, it's locked down, all the gradient effects are maintained, the envelopes maintained, but they can easily and simply modify or personalize that template. Now if you want, you can allow them to completely customize it by allowing the customized link on this page. It is an option. 
when they click on that link, only at that point do we load the full online designer. And only at that point can they move things around, drag things around, rotate text, separate text, and really change the complete layout any way they want. Or again, like I like to say, you know, take a really nice template and kind of destroy it in their own unique style that they want to create. But at least we give them that capability if you want to allow them to do that on your website. So that's a little bit of the front end. What I'd like to now do is click on the back end and show you a little bit about the production tools and the management tools that we have on the back end to manage your Deco Network website. So only you as the owner of your Deco Network site will get access to your back end section. You can set up different accounts for different people in your organization. For example, you might have a production team that can log in and only see the production tab. You might have a sales team that can log in and only see your sales tab. And you might have a uh, login for your web developer, so he can log in and just modify your website pages and your skin and do a little bit of SEO and uh, work on your, on your website. But starting off on your front-end dashboard, we give you a high-level overview of your business. We'll let you know your performance, how you performed this past week compared to the previous week, or in the past 24 hours compared to the previous 24 hours. So we give you a bunch of stats so you can see how you're performing along on your website. And of course, you get access to all your tools to configure your Deco Network website. We'll start off with the products because really that's where it all starts. The ultimate goal is to sell products online. And as a part of Deco Network 5.1, we've dramatically increased the amount of catalog products that you have available on your website. So you now have over 87 brands that you can pick from, over 3,000 products that you can add to your Deco Network website. Now, I don't recommend you add all of them. And that's one of the, uh, the myths of selling online, that you must have every single t-shirt known to man because I remember selling one of those t-shirts once. Well, online is very different to offline. When a consumer goes online, they don't want to spend hours and hours and hours browsing 3,000 products on your website. They're happy just to see a collection of five or 10 different t-shirts. If you go to any of the big websites like Zazzle or Cafe Press, they don't have thousands and thousands of blank products. You might have maybe a hundred at most, a couple of t-shirts, some hoodies, some shirts, and I recommend the same for your own Deco Network website. You can always, always add more later if you get demand for different brands or styles, but start off with just the main sellers to make it simple for your customers to browse and sell. Some of our best uh, websites have under 20 products on their sites and perform the best compared to those, those that have hundreds and hundreds on their website. But they're available if you do want them. And you simply check those products and click add those selected products and we add all the product information to your website again including the sizes, the colors, the description, the photographs everything is added directly to your website all you really need to do is go back to that product configure that product and you have full access to all the information related to that product if you want to change the description that the supplier made you can change that or the product name or the code of course, you can select your supplier, where you buy it from. Again, we provide all the front view and all the back view for the products that they're photographed. You don't have to take. And that's something that literally takes absolutely hours to do per product, to take photos and clean them up for the web. Of course, you can specify the price that you want to sell it blank. And then you can automatically set your screen print embroidery, DTG, and screen printing prices. They're all available, available for you to edit. And of course, we include all the sizes and the size chart as well. So everything that the supplier provides us, we make available to you. It's up to you whether you want to turn sizes off or change prices or um, retire colors or add new colors. It's your product at that point in time. It's completely up to you what you want to do with that product. And we even support inventory, how many you got on hand, and what warning you want to get when it reaches a certain level in your inventory stock as well. So we support that as well. So once you have products, of course, without um, catalog products, you can also add some custom products. There may be products that you make that we don't have in our system. You're not limited to just the catalog products we make available. You can go through our custom product wizard and set up your own unique product as well. So in addition to products, the other important thing about selling online is stock designs. In Deco Network, it's capable to add your own unique stock designs for your own unique market. You may have your own Corel Draw collection that you want to upload to Deco Network and we are the only web solution that natively supports CorelDraw.cdr. So you don't need to take that CorelDraw file, convert it to an EPS or a PDF, or heaven forbid a bitmap PNG. 
you can upload the original CorelDRAW.CDR to your website. We read that, and the best part of it being a CorelDRAW CDR, like you saw with those rich digital art solution templates, the text can be edited on your website by your customer. So it makes those templates completely flexible for your front-end consumer. In addition to your own uh, collections, we have built-in Deco Network design collections that you can simply check and add to your Deco Network website. And there's over 15,000 stock designs to choose from our collections, ranging from rival art, OESD, TBs, Design US, Digital Art Solutions, hundreds and thousands, sorry, hundreds and hundreds and tens of thousands of uh, stock design collections, bitmaps, Corridor files, flat black and white images. You can add them, some you can charge for, and you can even add a markup for them as well, so you can profit from the sale of those designs on your website. So we have products. We have designs, of course you need somewhere to sell it, and that comes down to your website. Now the great thing about Deco Network is you're not limited to just a single website. We let you have as many websites as you want on our premium plan. Now why would you have more than one website? Well let's say for example you have your main website, it's brendantees.com. Then you might want to start a brand new website for local school that you deal with. You do regular work for that school, the students buy their apparel from you, but you can set up a unique website just for them. It looks like their school website has their logo only on it. It only has the products that the school wants their students to buy, and your students can go to that website. They can log in. You can even lock it down so it's secure, and some schools like that, to ensure that not anyone can go on and buy their, their school apparel. But any orders that come through that website come directly back to you only, and you produce that as the fulfillment center. So you can have as many of those websites, and each of them can have a unique look and feel, a unique domain name. You can monitor each of those websites, how many visitors they've had, how many orders they've made, the total value of those orders, and how much commission you have to pay them as well. Now, a commission payment is also handled automatically as well. You might have hundreds and hundreds and thousands of websites. Well, it's going to be a lot of work at the end of the month for you to pay $2 to one, $10 to another, $300 to another, depending on how much they sell. So we have a really simple method where the affiliate store just simply enters their PayPal account, and at the end of the month, Deco Network will calculate all the commission that you owe all your affiliate stores, and it'll automatically pay that commission from your PayPal account directly into the affiliate's PayPal account automatically. And you get a report from that, and you can see exactly what commissions have been paid for your affiliates. And the way the commissions work is you set a price for a T-shirt such as $10, and then you specify how much commission you're willing to pay a store maybe 10, 15, or 20 percent. So for a sale of a $10 t-shirt, they'll get $2, and you'll get $8. So it's very simple, and handled all automatically in Deco Network. Now it's very simple at any point in time for you to add a brand new store by clicking on Add Store, or on the front end of your website, like I showed you earlier, you can have a link on your website, which is a Create Your Own Store link. So virally, anyone can sign up as a seller underneath you, and that's great for t-shirt designers, or maybe anyone who has a business idea and wants to trial it out. It costs them absolutely nothing, but again, all the orders come back to you, and you produce those orders, and you ship those orders to their customer on their behalf. And again, that's all handled through our Deco Network affiliate program, available in the premium level of Deco Network. So coming down from websites, we've got products, we've got stock designs, you've got websites to sell products, so eventually you get orders and they come into your production tab on Deco Network. And again, you can have a unique login, so your production team logs in and they can't see any other settings on your website, they can't change your prices, they can't change your products, but they can load, download the jobs for production. And this is a very simple production queue. You have a list of all your orders that are ready to be produced, and at any point in time you can select and download a PDF for that order. And that's a PDF worksheet, it's a worksheet that you can customize the layout for, but it's designed for your production team. Now the great thing about our worksheet is unlike most um, production instructions which are handwritten or scribbles or crosses drawn on a, on a mock-up, we actually give a real live visual mock-up of that uh, product. I'm just waiting for that to start downloading from our website. And the visual mock-up is highly visual for your production team because one of the most common errors in production is um, they think it might be written left-hand chest, so they put it on the left-hand chest, where really it should be done on the right-hand chest. And that ends up being an error that you have to replace the garment for, 
it costs you money, and it's simply because people misinterpret handwritten instructions. But again, our worksheet is highly visual. So you see the customer's details, you see the product they've purchased, the sizes and the quantities, and then you see an actual mock-up of the actual product. Now we show a photograph of the actual product in the actual color with the customer's actual artwork in the actual location that they specified. So it's really hard to go wrong with this. You can see exactly what the order should look like. And again, it's highly visual for your production team to work off. So we show the product and then we show the artwork, including the actual sizes of the artwork. And what's even great about that as well, we even show the artwork inside your screen print or embroidery frame size. So in Deca Network, you specify the uh, printable or embroidery area of your product. We show its position within that frame and even give you the offset as well. So we know that that artwork is half an inch down and one and roughly a third inch in from the side as well. So we give you some production measurements for that as well. Now when your production team download that artwork and produce it, they can click on the download link and that's where they get access to the high resolution digital print or the CorelDRAW CDR for screen print or the Wilcom.emb for embroidery because a part of our goal is to produce production ready files not a bitmap that you need to bring into CorelDRAW and recreate again for screen print but we give you the rich vector file for screen printing or a high resolution PNG with a transparent background for DTG or and again a real Wilcom.emb embroidery file for your embroidery machine when you download that file you can then produce that on your machine and you select that order and mark it as processed. Now the great thing about that is if at any point in time on your front end website your customer logs in and clicks on their account, at any point in time they can see a history of all their orders and whether they're being shipped or whether they're in production or waiting to be produced or perhaps payment unconfirmed. So they get live status updates simply by your team in the background updating the status of the order. Now, of course, once the order has been produced and has been printed, the next step is to ship that order to the customer. And under awaiting shipping, we give you a queue of all the orders that have to be shipped, and you select that order. You can download a, um, a packing slip or a printing uh, label. Uh, we automatically know the uh, weight of the products because, again, we get that from the suppliers. Or if you build your own custom product, you put in a per product weight. We know the quantity. So we know the total weight of the parcel. You can specify how many packages you're going to place it in, one, two, or three, how many as you want. And then you can print off a PDF packing slip. It includes your logo, it includes the uh, shipping address, your return address, um, and of course the order number is on that as well. When you print that off, you stick it on the parcel, you select that order, and you mark it as shipped. And one of two things can happen. First of all, the customer will receive an email automatically from you to say, thank you, your order has been shipped, and based on whatever shipping method they pick, It'll say your order has been shipped by FedEx, please allow three days for delivery or whatever your shipping times are. Or you can even enable an optional SMS service, which is a charge service, anywhere from two to ten cents depending on your country. And we will send an SMS to your customer to let them know that that order has been shipped or is ready for pickup and to come in and collect it. And again, all that is tracked live on your website and at any point in time, your customer gets live updates and it will tell them when that order has been shipped or is ready for pickup. In your, in your business. So that's a very little bit about the back end of Deco Network, again where you build your products, upload your stock designs, build your web properties to sell them for, and eventually get orders and download them off the web. But the reality is, not all your customers will go online and buy products online. Some will still send in an email, they'd want to quote, a school probably won't pay for a $10,000 order with a credit card over the web. So there's a whole part of a business which is what we call the offline business that an online environment traditionally doesn't cater for. Well, we solve that in Deco Network. And we have a section called Business Hub, which is available under your sales section. And again, you can set up an individual account for your sales team where they're going to get access to sales and Business Hub. And what Business Hub is, it's an internal tool for your sales or your customer service team to create orders, quotes, or invoices for your customers. It's not designed for your customers to self-serve, that's the front-end website over here where you let them choose your website and design online. This is an internal tool designed for your sales reps. It's non-flash based, so it works on your iPhone, on your iPad, or any other PC or tablet. So your sales, tab your sales team can literally be out there on the road with a 3G tablet or connected to Wi-Fi, 
placing quota orders on the road. And as they're placing those quota and orders, they're immediately viewable back in your back end in Deco Network in your factory. Now, as a part of this, what I'll do, I'll go through the scenario and show you what it would be like to, to create a quote for your customer and have them review and approve that quote live online. And imagine the scenario where you receive an email from a customer and he says, hi, I want to get 25 red t-shirts um, with my logo printed on the front um, and I'll let, I need them to be in 100% um, cotton. Thank you. Now, you don't know anything else about that customer. You don't really know his name. You've got his email address because he sent you the email, but he didn't sign it. You don't know the sizes. You don't really know what t-shirt he wants. Just that he wants 25 red t-shirts with his logo printed on the front. So we'll start off with a brand new quote. And this loads up the quote screen. And because I know the email of the customer, I can search for him. And there he is at the top, Peter Baker. We select that customer. And I can add a brand new product. Now, I don't really know what he wants, but he said he wants a cotton t-shirt. So I'll type in cotton, and that'll filter all my products and show any of the cotton products. And I'll give him a quote for the Guild in 2000. Now, he did say he wanted red, so we'll change the color to red. And he did say he wanted 25, but I don't know the sizes. So I can't choose the individual sizes, so I'll put zero for medium. But he did say he wanted 25, so I'll choose 25 unspecified sizes and click OK. Now, again, I have no idea what artwork I have for this customer on file. I could be out on the road. I could be in my car. I could be waiting in an airport. So instead of calling my art department, I just have to click on the load designer and choose customer's designs and printing. And it will automatically filter and show me every design I've ever used for that customer in the past. Again, without having to call the art department or ask the customer, what have you done? It shows that customer's designs automatically. I'll choose his main logo and click select design. And I'll place that a little bit higher on the garment and click done. So now I've built my visual mock-up for that customer. Really, really simple. All the prices are inserted automatically because we've set them up in Deco Network. The discount table that you've configured for your website online sales are available in here as well. And in my case, I give a 15% discount if you buy more than 25. So the great thing about this is all the effort you've gone to build all your products, set up all your prices, upload all your designs, all your artwork, do all your decoration processes, everything you've done for your website sales are now available for your customer service and your sales team to access in Business Hub. So you don't have to re-enter all that again in QuickBooks, and you all know how much of a pain QuickBooks is for quoting in our industry. It doesn't support size by color. It doesn't support native embroidery or printing files. We do all of that in Deco Network Business Hub. Now, being an existing customer, um, I've already got him set up with a terms and conditions. He's on 30% deposit and the rest on 30 days. It even tells me how much money he currently owes me, over $15,000. Now, in the normal world, I probably wouldn't place any more orders for this customer. But that's because I've not set up Peter Baker with a credit limit. But you can do that. And when it reaches that credit limit, it will warn you and not let you to place any more orders unless the customer pays the outstanding balance or uses their credit card to pay for that order as well. So we track that as well. Now, at this point in time, all what your sales rep has to do is click Save and Email the Quote. Now, we pack up that quote into a email template automatically for your sales rep. So they don't need to open up Outlook and retype that email over and over day after day. It's a nice professional email template that we give you and you can completely customize that template for your own business. They can add any additional notes if they want and your sales rep just clicks OK and it sends off that email directly to your customer. Now the great thing about doing it in Business Hub is it tracks all those emails and any correspondence you have with that customer in Business Hub. So if your production manager looks up that order, or if your sales manager looks up that order, they can see the full history, when that quote was created, when it was emailed to a customer, when the customer made any comments against that quote. It's all kept in the one spot and not in the inbox of a sales rep that you might see once a week when they decide to come into your factory. So now I'm going to click over to my Firefox, and I've got Gmail running just as if it'll be your customer. And I click on my inbox, and here is that exact email that I just sent from Business Hub. So now I'm acting as Peter Baker, your customer, and I've just received your quote. The exact email template that you specified is in that email, and it says, thank you for the quote. Um, you can review and approve your quote online by clicking here. 
and your customer clicks on that link and it takes them directly back to your website. They don't go to DecoNetwork.com, they go to your website, we log them in securely so, so they don't need to know a username and password and they can visually see that quote online. So even though your sales rep created it in a very kind of uh, account order looking software, we format that into a nice customer friendly quote that your customer can view live on your website. They of course see your logo, your details, they can see it's a quote and that it's awaiting for approval including um, uh, a quote number and even a valid until date. So you specify that all your quotes are valid for 30 days and then that quote will be honoured for 30 days. If you increase your prices within those 30 days, the prices won't change. But if that quote expires, and in the meantime you have changed your prices, the prices will update automatically. And if the customer goes back to approve that quote, it'll have those new prices in your, in your quote. They of course see their details and they can see the line item that you created for that customer. In this case, uh, the cotton t-shirt in red. I don't know the quantity and the sizes, but I do know they want 25. The discount, the unit price, the tax is all listed. The total, the shipping prices are all listed. But most important of all, your customer will see a full visual representation of exactly what you're quoting. They'll, they'll see again the exact product in the exact color with their exact artwork in their exact location. So there's no chance of them making a mistake that they're going to get a yellow shirt with long sleeves and a pink logo. They'll see exactly what you're quoting for. We'll even include a full product description so they can see whether they like the product and they're happy with the, uh, the makeup and the material of the product. We'll give them the size chart so they can make sure that the product fits them. And of course, we'll include the logo and the actual dimensions of the logo so they can see the actual real life size that the artwork will appear on their garment. All your customer really has to do is approve or reject that quote. They can print it off also, but what's great is they can also ask a question live on your website. Now, Peter Baker wants to approve this quote, but he doesn't want to approve it until he's guaranteed he can get the order by Friday because he needs it for an event on the weekend. And sometimes a, a quote could take up to two weeks to be produced. So instead of having to call in to your um, sales rep or send an email, he can ask your question live on your website. And we say, uh, looks great. Can I get it by Friday? And I'll just fix up that spelling error. Looks great and click submit note. Now the great thing about that, it logs that note against that quote. It says, thank you for your note. Our customer service team has been notified and they will be notified. Your iPhone will buzz because you will get an alert on your email that you've got a note. Your customer it's a record of that, but you also saw just a minute ago, my browser switched and it opened up my Chrome for me. It popped up a message saying, hey, this order has changed, so it's alerted my sales rep. When he clicks on that, he can see that there's a note from a customer, so it's alerted him live while he's maybe reading his emails or hopefully not browsing on Facebook. We also alert him with that alert in the top right corner, but we also have a great little feature called Newsfeed. And I like to call the news feed similar to our Facebook war feed. Everything that happens on your Facebook timeline, there's a log in chronological order. Every time your friend says something or uploads a photograph or likes a video or a website, our news feed is kind of the same, but it relates to any quote, order or invoice in your business. Every time an order is produced or shipped or someone's paid a balance of an order or you've created a quote or you've sent a quote or they've made a note against a quote, you get a log day by day in chronological order. So it's a great way to look at what's happening on your business and get a live up-to-date status of all your quotes, orders and invoices. In this case I can see again the customer left a message but again I had that alert up here as well where I could access that and when I click on view it takes me directly back to that quote. I can see his correspondence. I then call my production manager and say hey look it's uh, 25 garments. Um, can we get it by Friday? If he will he probably will approve that quote. The production manager says yes, but I need that order in today to get it ready by Friday. So again, your sales rep just clicks on add a note for a customer. And instead of opening up his, his email and typing that email, he can just reply live here. Yes, if you approve that quote today. Again, fix up my spelling. And click OK. It logs that note against that quote. It puts my photograph there so the sales rep or the um, customer knows who I am. 
And again, if anyone in your company looks at that quote, they get the full history. They know exactly what's happening to it. There's no guessing where it's up to, what the customer has said. It's all logged against that quote. In the same time, your customer, he's about to jump on a plane. His iPhone will buzz. He clicks back on his inbox. There's that email come directly from your company, that exact note from your sales rep. He's happy. The quote can be done if he approves it, approves it today. He clicks on that link, takes him again back to your website live. Again, the full correspondence is available, and he's happy. He's ready to approve that quote. So he clicks on approve quote. If you remember, I specified Peter Baker to pay a 30% deposit up front. So it now says you must pay that deposit in order to approve that quote. So he clicks on approve. But remember, I didn't know what sizes he wanted. I know he wanted 25, but I didn't know what his exact sizes were. Well, Deco Network knows that, and it prompts your customer. It says, here's your size chart. Pick what sizes fit you. We know you want 25. That's what we quoted you for. Tell us what sizes you want. So he does five medium, five small, five large, maybe five extra large, and I'm deliberately going to choose five, five extra large, and I'll click continue. And I chose five extra large because, as you know, some garment suppliers charge a little bit more for two extra large and above. It might be 50 cents, a dollar, two dollars, or even three dollars for the garment. So that's an extra cost to you. Deco Network knows that. You can configure that, and certainly our, our catalog products have that. But you can configure different sizes to have a different price, and Deco Network will automatically update that quote. So your sales rep doesn't have to go through and change that. We update that automatically. Your customer can reapprove that quote and check all the prices, confirm those settings. And the final step is we prompt the customer to either pay the deposit or the full amount up front, depending how you've configured that quote. And you can specify all the payment methods on your website. Whether you allow credit card, PayPal, direct deposit, check, cash, whatever payment methods you want. If it's a direct payment method like a credit card or PayPal, in which case where we can take the funds out immediately from their account and put it into your account, then that quote is approved immediately. If it is, however, an indirect payment method like a direct deposit, um, cash or check, then the quote is still approved. However, the order is put in a awaiting payment stage until you receive that payment and then you mark the order as paid, and only then will it go to production. And as you saw also just a moment ago, my other browser updated to tell me that the customer has approved that quote. So again, your sales rep is getting live updates as that happens in the background. So the customer enters in their details, they pay now. The money goes directly to you as the owner of Deco Network website. It does not go to deconetwork.com. We do not bill the customer. They do not see our details. It is your customer, your bill, that goes to your account. The order's been paid for. Once again, your sales rep will be notified either by an email alert, they'll see it on their news feed, they'll get a live date that they've approved it and paid for it, or they'll also get a live update up the top as well. What that also means is your production manager will now be able to click on the back end, click on production, and literally within minutes of sending out that quote, corresponding with the customer, getting it approved and having them pay for it, that order is now available on the back end for your production manager to download the worksheet or download the artwork and start printing and embroidering that on the back end. Again, all done on the cloud, all done automatically, and all done through Deco Network Business Hub and our back end production.